Hello, Jesse Good here, back with another video, and today is my birthday, so I'm reviewing a birthday party set. Woohoo! It's a LEGO Friends party train set. It's a 2016 LEGO Friends set. It has 109 pieces, one mini doll, and retails for $10 in the United States. Let's get into this party. <laughs> Not like anybody throws one from the IRL. So here is Stephanie, and she is in her classic, actually it's actually the really old kind of outfit, if I'm correct, of Stephanie. Uh, the only really cool thing about this version of Stephanie is that she has this new hat piece, which attaches onto the top of the head just like this. And it is a little party hat. Very useful, but it's sad that it only attaches to a few head pieces. They have to have one of those holes on top like Twitch does, so that actually looks really cool. Here's Heidi and Harry the hamsters. <laughs> That's a tongue twister right there. I love these new molds. I believe these molds are exclusive to this set and uh, they look adorable. But what I really like about them is that they have regular eyes. Their eyes aren't like these cutesy wootsy friends animal eyes that we usually expect. So that means that you could use this in Lego City just perfectly. And they are very small. Now you guys probably don't see how small they are here. Uh, but Look, this is compared to the Twitch minifigure, and you can see he's just kind of holding that because they have like a receiving set on the bottom to make it um, able to sit on like a one by one stud. So I would say just about as small as like the Chihuahua mold, maybe a little bit smaller. And each has a little hole on top so that you could put, you know, a little party hat if you'd like. So there's a lot of build in this $10 set. You got a little party train, uh, kind of a present area, a post area, and then this little uh, gerbil kind of house. So for the party train itself, a lot of people were hyped up when they first heard the name of this. They thought it was going to be a real train, so I can only laugh at that now. But for what it is, the build that it is, it's not bad at all, and I really like how it came out. Because it is a $10 set, but they still capture that train feel uh, while keeping it kind of realistic, I guess. And what they have kind of driving the whole thing is a nice yellowish-orange bike. Yeah, it's not yellow. I know a lot of people were hoping it was just plain yellow, but it's, no, it's yellowish-orange. Uh, but they do have a yellow bike. I think that came out in like 97. But that's neither here nor there. Um, and yeah, this yellow, yellowish orange bike, I think it comes in like one promotional poly bag for the moment, other than this set. Uh, but that's a really cool looking bike. I love that color on the bike. And of course, they have one set on the back, and you could just kind of put Stephanie on there if you'd like. Uh, and a stud on the back is what connects it to the train. And the train is just filled with a lot of platforms with jumper pieces, so you could put like the presents if you'd like, or the invitations on here. Uh, and uh, I just put the gerbils on there. Now on the back, the little caboose, it's holding two balloons. I like how they did the small balloon, it's kind of a new build for me, where they just use the minifigure head and just a regular minifigure pole, so that's really cool. Then they made a new balloon build where they used a bowl piece on the bottom. That's clever. They, they used to just use two of these pieces and like a Technic pin, but this looks so much better like this and it's much more stable. So that's it for the party train itself. And now let's look at the other builds. So for the other builds, you got this little present, which caught my eye when this the pictures for this thing were first revealed. And you could just kind of take it off and there's a little bow present inside. But what's cool is they actually use it as an inverted uh, plate piece. So that's actually a really cool fit piece to get printing on. And the only thing I don't like about that is you would think it would make it more stable, but it just kind of falls off like that. It's not locked in there uh, because of how the pieces are made. So that's kind of sad. I was hoping them using an inverted plate piece would make it, you know, actually stable and stuff. But oh, well, I guess we can't always win. And then uh, they have this little post kind of stand. And a little round jumper piece right there. Post box. And a nice printed invitation on a 1x2 tile. This comes in about all the uh, little party sets. And then we got this little gerbil house, which is a very simple build. But effective to, you know, put the gerbils on. And they could use a slide if they'd like to slide down. Or you could just stand them up right here. So that's it for the set altogether. Now onto the box and the final verdict. So here's the box for the set, very small. And then you have one instruction booklet, which has a nice ad for all the 2016 Wave 1 little LEGO Friends party sets. So overall, this set is actually really good. I like how it came out. I like how it has those gerbil. There's two little gerbil. I keep saying gerbil, but they're hamsters, uh, which are nice new molds that are exclusive to the set so far. And you get two different colored ones, which, you know, add some variety. 
and I like the party little um, bike right there, and the party train itself is very satisfying. Only thing that I don't like about this set is the Stephanie minifigure is the same as so many before. It's the basic one from many years ago. Should have made a new, a new updated version or something like that. And these builds right here are pretty bland. I mean, they're simple for what they are, uh, but I, they just don't stand out from a lot of the other, you know, Lego friends, animal stuff. So I'd rate this set a B plus. I think the $10 price point is actually really good for what you get. There's just a few things that make it not stand out from other sets, but there's a lot of good pieces. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.